What's good, everyone? This is BNK, Big Nasty Kale, and I'm here on behalf of Kara Stepkick at karastepkick.wordpress.com. I've seen a few tutorials on Jerry uh, for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and whereas they were well done uh, by Finger Cramps Jago and um, Games Radar, I don't think they have a good grasp of how the character worked in Street Fighter 4. And simply put, I think I could just do a better job in explaining how she works as um, in relation to Street Fighter 4. I think if you have an interest in this character and you've played her in Street Fighter 4, I think you'll have a good grasp of how she works. Her walk speed is just about the same. It's not great. It's not horrible, though. Um, her far short, I think, um, in this engine works really well because of the range, plus the fact that she can um, cancel off it, of course. She also can chain off of it. So I think that move in itself is going to work really well in this game. Let me just take a quick look at that. This is the range on that chain that I had just mentioned. Looks pretty good. And uh, let's go right into uh, Far Forward. This move has gotten a very, very nice buff since Street Fighter 4 just because of the range and you can chain off of it. It wasn't cancelable in Street Fighter 4 and it still isn't. This does lead to a nice launcher. I'm not going to go into tag combos, but you can see where it would uh, be good. The next thing that I want to show you guys, I'm in love with. I absolutely love that this move works as it should be working. Street Fighter 4, this move whiffed on Crouchers on a majority of the cast in Feng Shui Engine, and I would say about half of them without. So it's a very reliable poke that goes over lows. Um, and of course, you can chain right into it. Speaking of um, not working against Crouchers, Standing Jab will actually work against Crouchers. Thank you. Finally, they have realized how she needs that Stand Jab. Her Far Strong is very good because it moves her forward. So you pretty much are always going to be in range for a store. And store is going to lead to, you know, your mix-ups, your juggles. Um... So it, that's a very, very good poke to use. It can whiff at max range, but you're never really going to like whiff it. I mean, I had to try for that to happen. Her far fierce, it whiffs on crouchers. And there's no real need to use that over the roundhouse. So I definitely would stick to the roundhouse. Her standing close forward is a double hit move that can cancel on either the single or the double. Um, this move in Street Fighter 4 could avoid throws. It still can avoid throws. Whew. I'm very glad to see that. Her roundhouse, her close round roundhouse, um, is two hits, which you can only cancel on the first hit. Um, on the second hit, though, however, you can go straight into a launcher. So that's not the worst thing in the world. Again, not going to go over that. <laughs> Because of those two hits, um, with a possible four hits, you have a lot of time to confirm a launcher. So, good stuff. Glad to have it. You know, I'm not going to go over all of her normals. I think I should just show you the uh, jumping one. Um, the hit stun on jump ins, it's a little weird. It seems like it's across the board, but you have a lot of time to confirm. The light kick, it's unsure where she's going to land. I, does, I don't think she crosses up much, but she sometimes can go through you. The medium kick is a great cross-up. It always has been, and it still stays uh, to be a great cross-up. Um, her roundhouse does not cross-up. I cannot get this to cross-up for anything, even in the corner, in any way that I tried. Still great damage, uh, a good move to use. Jab, I would not use at all. It's a uh, eh. Her medium punch remains to be a very, very great tool. But in this game, it's not as good as AE. Um, you can still do a dive kick off of it, and uh, you can juggle after the dive kick. Which is great, but the hitbox seems to have gotten nerfed a little bit. It's definitely not as good as uh, AE. Her jumping fierce has a, a pretty good hitbox. It can be an ambiguous jump in, because you can always cross up with medium kick. Um, does good damage. I like it. All right, let's go a bit deeper into things. Um, her back dash is not very good. Um, it wasn't good in AE. It's not good now. Her forward, her forward dash is uh, decent doesn't have the range her Feng Shui does in 2012, but yeah, it's all right. I haven't tested out if it goes underneath fireballs, but um, definitely her movement's all right. Let's go over her Fuhajin. Um, her Fuhajin actually works the same exact way as it did in AE from Street Fighter 4, from all those iterations. The one thing that has changed on it 
I don't know if you can see this, the pushback on it is very small for mid-screen. So, you know, this opens up a lot of possibilities. You'll be able to crouch fierce into low forward and to pinwheel. That's really good um, for a mid-screen combo. As you can see, the damage that that does just from that, very easy link. The Fuhajin store is just the same as it has been. Um, the knock upward has been increased. Um, you can now juggle after it, which is really strong, and it's going to lead to a lot of her corner uh, damage. It's actually going to be really, really strong. If you have not seen it, her crouch fears can be jump cancelled now. What this means is that you're going to find a lot more opportunities to do damage in the corner from Fierces. That comboed. It's so a ground crouch, uh, crouch fears into dive kicks. So that's really strong. That's really good. Unfortunately, to answer your questions before you even ask it, if you chain, you cannot jump cancel it. Sorry. Just to touch on a few of her links. Um, in Street Fighter 4, that was a link. No longer links, unfortunately. I guess because you can chain, there's no need for it. But it would have been nice to have that, just because we could. That does work. Uh, the light punch into stand, into stand and close fierce, it still does work. But again, there's not going to be much use of it, seeing as you just do, you know, light, medium, heavy. Jury still has the links off of her standing jab, like her standing uh, jab to forward, standing jab to crouch strong. Um, so those are all there, and those should still be used instead of chains for certain things. You definitely get more damage off of it. She can still do short, short, short pinwheel, but it, as you can see, if you do it too fast, you're going to get chains, so you have to time it. Links in this game are a little bit slower, so you have a little bit of time. I now want to go over her Fuhajin links. Um, you can do pretty much everything that you did in Street Fighter 4, but you can actually do a little bit more. Of course, you can link any button off of uh, any Fuhajin, but some things are different now. You now have the strong that you can cancel off of, so you can do a lot more fierces and a lot more strongs, um, and she stays in. Less whiffing, which is amazing. As you can see here, with all links, and that's beautiful. It does a lot of damage. You know, it's very strong. Um, the hard kick fireball now hits almost everyone standing. Are you going to get a chance to hit that in a match? Well, that depends on your setup, but just know that it can be done, so try to find it. <laughs> Her Senpusha is relatively unchanged. Um, her light kick, you still can't link off of it. However, her medium and heavy, you 100% can link off of that. And it's really good. I believe Capcom gave this to us because of the lack of FADC. You no longer can combo after it, so you don't have an FADC, so it actually gives us chances to do damage without having a fireball stored. Of course, this will lead to very flashy, damaging combos that build a lot of meter, which I will burn right now, but um, it's still possible. So that's very, very nice. She can link a lot of stuff off of her store, even sweep. So if you're looking for an untackable knockdown, you definitely can add a store at the end of a combo and then use it uh, the sweep for the untackable knockdown for your next mix-up. Her jumping fierce, if used in a juggle, can actually create a ground bounce. There's a lot of benefit with this being used, and it's very nice, as you can set up a lot of different combos with this. We can mix this into the jump cancelling of the Fierce, and get a nice damage combo in the corner. So with this in mind, since Shuri has very strong anti-airs, you can see how this would be really good to convert damage off of just that one anti-air. I just wanted to touch quickly on her Kasatushi, her counter. It remains intact in how it works. Um, the startup seems very good now. Um, again, I don't know the frame data. But there are no breakers in the game. The only thing that I found that works is EX fireballs and supers. Other than that, EX moves and the usual breakers from um, AE do not break this anymore. Because of the juggle system, Jury can now get a lot of meterless damage. Um, in AE, she had to use super or continue the dive kicks or use ultra or something. She had to use outside meter to get the damage. I don't know really what we can do mid-screen yet, but I'm sure in time we'll figure out a lot of ways to take a lot of health off of just one opening. 
because this game lacks focus attacks, and thus far I haven't been able to find anything about fuzzy guards. I don't think EX Dive Kick is going to be your main way of going into damage. She has other ways to hit her super art, so hopefully we find some use for it. I haven't tried it against every throw in the game, however, Geef is trying to throw Jury and is highly unsuccessful. That's because her standing close forward is still airborne the first few frames. So even out of super, get hit out of that. It's the best. And just to show you, I'm going to bring in Mr. I don't know my past. And uh, as you can see here, get stuffed out of it. All right, and here's one last thing I wanted to show you guys before I turn the mic off. I just want to show you this gimmick. Kaizen hits from both sides now. So you can play a little bit of mind games with that. I don't know if this is really the best thing to do, however, that's pretty badass. <laughs> if you can play with a lot of mind games, you can go for the front or back. Is it worth the risk? I don't know. But again, it's very interesting what you could do with that. Alright, and that's about it for me. Um, the next few things I'm going to show you guys is uh, some things I thought of on the fly, just how to use the, uh, the cross art. Of course, this is just me just having a little bit of fun, so I'm not trying to look at uh, the most damaging ways to do things. It's just mostly uh, trying to take the character as far as I can when it comes to the things that I found. Any questions or comments, you can always check me out at YouTube at youtube.com slash artist by default. Send me a private mess message or a comment down below. Uh, you can check me out on Xbox at uh, Kaelkun, K-A-I-L-K-U-N. Uh, Twitter.com slash Kaelkun and Facebook.com slash Artist by Default. And please also check out Kara Stepkick at karastepkick.wordpress.com. Uh, there you'll find articles on how to improve your gaming um, and expand your mind when it comes to, fight, to fighting games. Um, you can also check them out at twitch.tv slash karastepkick and uh, Twitter.com slash karalaswaga. K-A-R-A-L-A-S-W-A-G-G-A. Tell them Kale sent you. <laughs> Tell them that you like the video. Um, yeah, so with that being said, I'm out. Go in peace and serve the queen. All thanks be to Jury. Hopefully soon she'll have a partner. <laughs> peace.